Matthew Lillard will be in Scream 5, and if I'm wrong, I'm gonna be I'll... Ooh, what are you gonna do if you're wrong? Take us out to a nice dinner. I'll take you guys out to a nice dinner, <gasps> but that's not gonna happen because I'm gonna be right. It's time to hack the movies. Hi, Crystal. How are you? Hi, Tony. I'm okay. A little nervous with what you got in your hand there. Crystal, I've had a hell of a week. You're not the only one, but damn. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You might be wondering, we were supposed to review this with Johanna, right? Yeah. Right, because we did the first one together, the first scream for the twentieth, twenty fifth anniversary. You, one of those. Sh whatever you say, Tony. Everything whatever it right. was. Everything you say is right. <laughs> I'll put this down. You Thank look like you. you're nervous. Yeah, we were supposed to do it with Johanna, but uh, uh, something happened. Something happened. Yeah. So I was getting calls all week leading up to yesterday from some creepy person. Oh no. Yeah, and it turns out they were killing all the people that I was close to. Thank God I'm not fucking close to you. Yeah, I mean, he was killing- Like I would even barely- No, 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 he, they, they, they were killing friends and people I cared about, so. Yeah, thank God you hate my guts. Yeah, yeah, so it turns out- Uh, yeah. It was Johanna. Apparently- but for her. Apparently all the creepy comments saying that they want me and her to get back together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though we only dated for six months in 2008, <laughs> Uh, it really got to her, uh, and she decided. It snapped. She decided, like, yeah, I gotta get back together, and she wanted to kill all the people close to me, so she would she's be the not only that one left. Crazy. She's crazy. I don't know. If she's well, here's that the thing. Crazy. Here's the thing. I'm like, wait, don't you have a fiance? Turns out he wants to get with me too. They were in it together. It was crazy. They they said like I I'm like the mac to their mac and cheese, and that didn't make any sense. Uh. So I ended up killing both of them. Well, I mean, they like stabbed me. I stabbed them. I blew up the house. They I should have fucking murdered your ass. I assume they're dead and Johanna's never coming back. Except for, I guess, all those episodes we filmed ahead of time. Anyway, that uh, sounds like the plot of a Scream movie, doesn't it? Does. It does. Almost that like Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Does that sound like bad fan fiction? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like horrible fan fiction, actually, because um, also, it's not realistic. If anything, Johanna would absolutely murder you, but not because you're the Mac of her cheese. Yeah. Listen, guys, stop leaving those comments. I, I don't want to get breaking Tony's heart. I don't. It's, guys, no. yeah, I'm making a statement right here. <laughs> I don't want to sleep with anyone, any woman who's on this show. They're all terrible. God. And not I honestly think I could do better. Anyway, let's move on. Scream. We saw Scream 5. We did. Sorry, but just it's Scream. Not, it's just Scream. It's just Scream. People are bitching about it, and I did it but first. I caught on eventually, but like people still haven't caught on yet about why <sighs> it's called Just Scream and the movie. And it before. literally says it in the movie, too, yes. which is fantastic. Yes. Uh, Overall feelings before we get into it. Did you go? All right. What's let, your me, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell okay. you. Um, Please tell me things. Just a heads Please. up, everyone. Just a heads up. And this is something the internet really cares about. This Not movie. Us. This movie. <laughs> yeah. Woke. How? There's, there's a lesbian character in it. Thank God. Woke. Childhood ruined. Could there, you get there, to see two girls make out? There are people online. They'll like literally like movie channels. Yeah. Like uh, Geeks and Gamers is one of them. But like they'll complain about movies, but it's not even like is the movie good or bad anymore. It's just like there was a woke character in it. It's like okay, I get it. But like, did it did it mess up the whole? Like they, they were bitching about the new Matrix movie being woke, and I'm like, I that is the it. that is the least of that movie's problems. That movie just had it. shitty right, fight don't choreography. Talk, don't talk about because I still I haven't seen the review either. I didn't see you. And, yeah. Who was it? Kieran? Was it you and Kieran? No, it was me and Joe. Oh, it was you and Joe? Oh, yeah. Shit. Um, and you... Trisha for a second. Oh, oh shit! Now I really have to watch that. Now I have to quickly watch The Matrix just so I can see Trish because <laughs> I know she's in that sexy outfit. Yeah. So maybe I'll just fast forward for a part. second. 
Oh, it's and, only a second? <laughs> then I can totally go to that part. I didn't know so, that. So, spoiler. She uh, bought that outfit for the Matrix 4 review and then wasn't able to be in it. So, we, like, <laughs> recycled the Adam and Eve green screen footage and worked her in. That's her amazing. Her point. That's amazing. Anyway... I like Scream. We've uh -huh. talked about, go back, watch the first movie. I think we're all in unison here that three is the only really weak one. Yeah, it's weak. I wouldn't say I hated it. I wouldn't even say that I don't like it. I actually liked it. I I did like it. Yeah. It just, in the, out of all now five of them, mm. three is still the, I would say, yeah, the weakest one. Yeah, I, it'd be one thing if they were doing like, oh, this is the false ending, like Friday 13th Part 4, but I don't think they were. They were like, this is no. the trilogy. Yeah. And s slashers don't have trilogies. That's my biggest critique. Uh, they weren't allowed to be as violent as the other Which two. There was sense. a lot of post Columbine stuff that affected. They rewrote the whole movie. I didn't St know that they rewrote it. Well, Stu was going to be manipulating kids into killing for him. We'll talk about Stu later. Um, yeah, we will. God damn it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, but Scream 4, I just rewatched it this morning for the first time since I watched it on video. By the way, this is the first Scream movie I saw in theaters. Really? Sweet. Yeah. I guess I was yeah. too young to see the first. Well, no, my no, parents would well, take me. No, well, even like 2011, you're not too young. Yeah, I just didn't get around to seeing it. Gotcha. There was. Uh, life? Yeah, life, sure, college, we'll whatever. Um, yeah, so I usually like the movies. Uh, they announced this one. Obviously, Wes Craven is no longer alive. Which is a bummer. He's so I wasn't rest in peace, really in peace. sure what to how to go into this. And you know, we we talked briefly about the show last time. Have you made any effort to watch the show? No, but I rewatched yeah. all four of them last night. Yes. So I and remember the show is not in the same kind. I know. And some people were saying this is actually. Someone told me that this was the movie was supposed to be going off the TV series. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. No. There was like, no, I don't The only one that. that would possibly be in the, and then I never finished it, was the third season where they rebooted it, but I, I don't think so. No. Um, Yeah, so that was like the last time like I took a chance on the TV show. Mm. I'm like, all right, I'll take a chance. And the first season was fine. And then it quickly dropped. So now yeah. they made this fifth movie, not the same director coming back, I obviously. Know. And I'm just like, uh, but you didn't go in expecting to hate it, but you also didn't go in expecting to love it. You went I, in like neutral, I, would you say? I, I I expected to enjoy it. Okay, so you went in with good expectations. Yeah, I didn't think it was going it, to... It's exactly what I thought it would be. Yeah. Except for one thing. But it's exactly what I thought it'd be. Okay. And, but I like that. I like that. It, 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 it did what it usually does. It does the meta thing right. And I forgot the part four where she's like you're so meta and Dewey's like what does yeah. that mean she's like I don't know I heard the kids saying <laughs> oh my god four a lot of people hate four but it's why so, four is it's great so over the top and it's like out there but I love it for being so over the top no four is great I love four with the, yeah. the making fun of remakes and reboots and it's stuff it's so funny I think this movie I went in very neutral I wasn't sure I didn't think I was going to hate it I didn't no. think I was not going to like it I thought I was going to be like all right it was okay like no I thought it was like the way I saw like maybe three. I felt like that maybe that's how I was going to feel. Yeah. Loved it. I kind of like how this movie it. is making fun of trends and stuff that I'm starting to hate in other movies and yeah. playing with it. I, it's, it's which good. is what Scream has always done, but mm -hmm. it's like it feels pretty it, good it now. It definitely hit right on the nose for this one. It was so I maybe it's because it's like still so fresh in my brain right now and the feeling still there. I, I when it ended, I was like. Yes, like there's like I never get excited watching movies. Really, I'm, I'm very hard to impress and please, very hard to please here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so we're watching. There's like so many times like I actually applauded at one point and I was like, yeah. Oh, I thought that was Jess. Jess was Jess really good. Just it. So Jess went to yeah. the um, <laughs> fucking love. Just sat in the middle yeah. with me and Tony, and she's the best person to go to movies with because she's so animated. She's very excited. For I me. love this. She goes, yeah. <laughs> No, she said, she, like her face says, like you just, I almost want to watch her more than the movie half the time because her face is just so expressive. That was so life. awkward. I, I assumed it was going to be packed tonight. Oh, it was like no one in there. So I was I'm like, all right, I'm going to just get the three seats because it's probably going to fill still up. could have spread out. Yeah, I, I was know, like, I, just... I like being close to Jess. This is okay. And she's fun. I love Jess. I should have just 
I should have watched the movie from the parking lot. You uh, should have. But I'm very, I will say I'm very, very proud of you for not yelling at the theater. Good no. job. We took you out of I public. did make a comment that I will say later. You uh, did? I, I said it to Jessica, but I, I said it pretty loud on the quiet part. I guess well, you weren't I did, paying attention. I wasn't. You know how nice it is now that your voice goes through one ear and out the other? Oh, really? Is yeah, it helping? It's really <laughs> great. I can actually watch a movie now. So, this so. You know, every single screen movie makes fun of something. Mm -hmm. uh, and right now, this one is making fun of, they can't even decide on the name, the requel, no. soft the re reboot, yeah, the legacy re sequel. This is what this is made because they've already covered remakes. Yep. Uh, yeah, and I think it does a pretty good job of making fun of, like, <laughs> I feel like a lot of... Yeah. It's inter I'm, I'm interested to see how the internet reacts to this one because it's making fun of pretty much everybody. But it's good and I think everyone needs to be made fun of. It's almost like a South Park yeah. kind of thing. Everyone needs to be made fun <laughs> of. If you don't make, get made fun of. No, you're not allowed to make fun of anyone. That's oh. the rule of comedy these days. Don't make fun of anyone. You're supposed to like talk about cats. Uh, you could make fun of the president we would which never, party he's in oh my god we would never be able to survive life as it is if we don't have comedy Did and you see, satire um, and who's the family feud guy uh oh comedian uh, original king uh, of comedy uh, steve harvey yes apparently okay. he did a thing like he's not doing stand-up anymore a lot of comedians don't want to do stand up because he knows anymore. it'll just get ripped apart it's, and he'll be accused of all this stuff. So he said, if I do it again, it'll be the last time because I won't have a career afterwards. You want to see good comedy. You go to a club. You don't go to a theater. Theater mm -hmm. tends to have. Even though I work in a theater, like it's the stadiums, the theaters, the larger shows it tends to be more of a broad audience. Mm. You never know what you're going to get. It tends to be a little bit more on the cleaner side. I mean, if you really, really like that comedian, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. But if you want to see more of the raunchy, more of the satire or you're throwing life in your face, but you have to make fun of it in order to get through, mm -hmm. you go to the clubs, you go to the cellar in New York, yeah. you go like David Tell has his whole thing in the city. And yeah. there's so many of those types of basement clubs out there. Those are where it comes from. Saw and Bob those Levy are you in a club see. years ago. Bob Levy. Oh God, he was funny. There's so many. I don't know how he's doing these days, but he was funny back then. <laughs> um, but yeah. So anyway, so many people. But they, yeah, you go to those clubs because one, you're not allowed to have your phone in there. You're not allowed because they actually do. They and I love that when they actually have to put your phone in a sleeve or in a. That's any smart type of thing. because because they know what's going to happen. Yep, there's a lot of places where they actually put your phone in an envelope, and they go around making sure that you don't take it out. Mm. Um, there's a whole bunch of that, which is absolutely smart. So the point is, you're not allowed to make fun of anyone. If you make fun of anyone, uh, you're canceled. Just cancel me now, then. <laughs> but no, yeah, this movie already. kind of makes fun of many different groups. Uh, we'll go through it here. Mm -hmm. uh, we have no notes. No notes. But this is going I have off. the IMDb up. Hold on. Uh, he did have the IMDb up. How is Johanna texting me? I thought I killed her. <gasps> From the dead! <laughs> She's back, yes! I guess. Yes! So, the director, two directors. Tyler... <laughs> Sorry, my whole entire head just went to Ghost in Teeny Bikini, and I was like, maybe Johan and I will have, like, ghost porn or something. <laughs> director, I don't know why I thought went through my head. Director Tyler Gillett and Matt Bettinelli Open. They uh -huh. did a segment in VHS... Their collective had some kind of name. I forget what it was, but um, you saw VHS, right? I actually didn't. None I've of them? never really? seen VHS. Oh, there's a I've new one. I've been wanting to now. see it too, and I just haven't gotten around to see it. I haven't seen the fourth one yet. I've never seen any of them. Oh. I haven't yet. So I believe the segment they directed was the one at the very end of the movie. Okay. Uh, where they're like they're going into like a haunted house where there's like a ritual going on and like. Was it good? Yeah, it was good. It was a lot Sweet. of fun. Okay. It was a lot of fun. That's all I need to know. It was a lot of fun. Um, they've since directed some other anthology thing, uh, but I haven't seen that. But nothing feature, like a feature length. Give me a second. Hold on. We're very prepared. Super professional. Oh. Oh. I have not seen it. They direct it Ready or Not. Oh, I have not. I don't think I've seen Ready or Not. I have not seen it, but people really like Ready or Not. They did another movie called Devil's Do. 
And yeah. Um, Sweet. So they're good. And I think obviously from watching this one, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm down to that. see all their older stuff because I this will, was great. I, I will celebrate their entire catalog. Woo! Uh, yeah. Celebrate. They, I think they did a pretty good job. I do too. I think I that really they captured it. it. There was my only, I think my only complaint is too much crying. I just felt like there was way too much crying. I think everyone always cries way too much, except for me. We're yeah. always fucking crying. <sighs> oh, yeah, we get to, it. You have no emotions. I get all right. to. Mister, I hide all my emotions down deep inside, and then <sighs> one day I'm just going to break, and... Oh, my mom got hit by a car. Oh, what? My <laughs> cat, oh, my cat died. Oh, my dog. Got shot. Ooh. Oh my god, who the fuck is shooting dogs? Cops, mostly. Anyway. Oh my god! <laughs> You're right. Too much crying. Everyone yeah. stop crying. That's, that's your left that's your But it did seem like there was an insane amount of crying, a lot of emotion that I was like, okay, we can we don't have to keep on this so long. Like I get it. Like mm. I, I got it. Let's move on. Yeah. It was they definitely played on more of an emotional aspect, but I really do love that this entire movie, it wasn't it didn't feel super jokey. Mm -hmm. It was an amazing balance of comedy, but more in a serious tone, which I actually truly enjoyed. Which is what Scream is. Yeah. Yeah. The other movies, they went a little more comedy, 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 each one, I feel. For, Especially the fourth one. Four, yeah. Was very comedy. Third Mostly one was- Mostly in the beginning. I think it kind of oh, evened out no. toward the end. It, it, it was- it was kind of okay. Yeah. Maybe Emma, Emma you, Roberts throwing me? herself through a table that was, was pretty funny. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. I love her so much. I I want to be best friends with her. Yeah. But even the third one was still a little bit more, definitely more on the comedy, especially towards the end. Yeah. Especially towards the end, and I was mm. like, oh, I guess this is the direction it's going into now. It's just saying how, because that's what happens. A lot of films they become more and more ridiculous. Where you're just like, are you serious? Like, which, look at how which Scream like, has made fun of. Yeah, yeah. Friday the Thirteenth. For crying out loud. Yeah. Like, look at Friday the 13th, and you're just like, oh, I see. It gets a little <laughs> Jason in space, come on. Which, this movie kind of has a clever thing with that. All right, so let's try to remember this movie the best we can without notes. Ooh. It opens up as, <laughs> about as well as you would expect uh, with a girl home alone getting a call from Ghostface. And it's very, very similar yes. to the original. I wasn't sure if they were going to make that into a... We're watching Stab again because that's what they've done in the past few ones. Like they open it with Stab. Oh no, it doesn't. And it doesn't, doesn't open. open well, they stab. talk about Stab. They do, of course. They remember, have to. Stab is the movie within a movie in this universe, directed yes. by Robert Rodriguez. The fifth one, they went, they time traveled. Yes, <laughs> yes, which is great. Uh, yeah. So she's getting a call from Ghostface. I like the how they did the whole thing where she's locking the door with her phone, but it's getting unlocked. That's fantastic. Yes, because that's, I like the fact that they played a lot of modern technology into this. Yeah. And it made it more realistic. Yeah. So they were able to keep up that up. Yeah. Because now everyone's using their phones. Everyone is using more of the technology mm -hmm. where that actually can go against you, especially if someone has your information and all of a sudden they can turn off like they can interact with your Alexa, your Google, your smart home. Someone tried to uh, fucking get into my bank account the other day. I feel like that's almost normal. I'd be more scared of someone getting into my house. I've had my like card and stuff, but like someone literally tried to like sign into my accounts. First time that ever happened. Really? Yeah. Oh, lucky you. I've had the card stolen and whatnot. Not stolen, but you know how they like, take your number and yeah. some poor guy. <laughs> Some poor guy. He he got my credit card information when I was broke as shit in 2015, Aww. and he he went to Foot Locker, and it declined. No, it declined. <laughs> and then he bought a shit ton of Popeyes. He went to like five different Popeyes. Oh, you told me about this. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't have enough shoes. money for your Foot Locker trip. I'll try better next. I felt. But like, at least you were able to feed him. It's one okay? of those things. Like my bank called me. They're like, "Hey, did you try to buy something to Foot Locker in Manhattan?" And I'm like, "No." <laughs> I'm like, well, it got declined. I'm like, well, duh. I have no money. <laughs> anyway. But yes, I think it's petrifying that someone can hack into your stuff mm -hmm. and ruin all your security. Because yep. that's super realistic. Uh, so yeah, she's doing like the... Uh, she talks about how she likes elevated horror. Mm. Which is funny. Oh my god, I love that part. I, 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 oh my god, there's so many great lines in this yeah. movie. Which is funny. Yeah. Because 
a lot of people accuse A24 movies of being elevated horror and too smart for people. <laughs> Uh, and she likes A24 movies, and the trailer that we watched before this movie was an A24 horror movie yes, called was. X with that actress yes, in it, it which I thought was pretty interesting. It was. Um, yeah, She's definitely so, playing a different character. Yeah, and I like how the, the, the ghost face is like, those movies suck. I like stab. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I don't like the jump scare. It's pretty shitty. He's like, you're a bitch. Um, yeah. So yeah Babadook. He, Babadook is her favorite. Babadook is good. Actually, I really like I was Babadook. the Babadook. For one Halloween, were you the the uh, gay one, the one that's all about? The he pride? was not gay yet. I oh. did that before the meme. Gotcha. Yes. How do is you know? They really gay pride like, icon. That's another one of those like it was funny the first. Like, it was funny. Oh, when I'm Netflix, still loving it. No, it was funny when they like screwed up and it's like, haha, the Babadook shouldn't be there, and everyone's like, he's a gay icon now, and it's like, isn't that like a a demon monster meant to represent like a mother's guilt about her kid. Like that doesn't really seem gay to me, but okay. Yay. We all got demons inside. Like, it, it was funny the first time. I still enjoy it. There's a lot of stuff that's only funny the first time. I still enjoy it. Some things I like. And I want to, I want to talk now. about what I thought was funny. The first time has been running to the ground, but the comment section will explode. Oh, what is it? Don't worry about it. Oh my God. You can't say that. And I want to know. Anyway. Ah. Um, she gets attacked by Ghostface, and you think she dies, but in a twist that subverted our expectations, as they say, uh, she lives. She does, which was fantastic. I mean, she she got fucking stabbed. Oh, yeah, that's why she it was shocking when they were like, stabbed. when uh, her sister, played by... Jenna, Jenna Ortega? No, no Jenna that's Ortega, the younger one. Jenna it's Ortega by, um, is the girl who gets killed, Tara Carpenter. Yes, Tara. Oh, oh God. Oh God. Okay. Sam Carpenter played yes. by Melissa Barrera. There you go. Fucking gorgeous. I've never seen this woman she before is, in my life. I think her and her sister or her acting sister, yeah. the girl, Tara, Sam and Tara are both stunning. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. Although the Tara girl, cause she's the actress is 19. She's still beautiful. But no, it, it just was awkward because she looks very young. She does and then look in really that young. X trailer, she's, she's like, I want to be in the porn movie. And I'm like, ew. <laughs> Don't show me her simulating yeah, porn and then show me yeah, her she's pretending like high to be schooler, like. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, ew, no. That's yeah, a little weird. Okay, I can tell no. that's really weird. Uh, but no, this uh Sam it's girl, Sam. she looks like um like a let Tina Priyanka Chopra. That's what she looks like. Ooh, yeah, I can go with. She's that. got a Priyanka Chopra vibe. Yeah, she plays in a lot. I looked up. She plays in a lot of Spanish films. Yeah, but she was also in In the Heights, and she plays Vanessa. And that I can see her playing because I saw the. I actually haven't seen the movie. I love the Broadway show so much. You know what? I'm never gonna watch In the Heights. Anyway, it's really. Uh, good. yeah, she gets a call, and she's there with her boyfriend Richie. And they're like, hey, your sister, she gets a call from Wes. Yeah. Who is the son of, what's her name? Judy Hicks. Yeah, Judy Hicks. The the deputy from the previous or, film. Who is now the who sheriff. Who is now sheriff. Uh, who's the kid from 13 Reasons Why. We IMDb'd them. We did. Yes. So he uh, he calls her. He's like, hey, your sister is stabbed like a bunch. But she lived. You should probably go to the hospital. And she's like, well, yeah. fuck. Yeah, because she wasn't even going to pick up, but she saw the number, and it does say, like, maybe West, whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my phone does that. Mm -hmm. So it, might. it goes through your emails and stuff like that. And, yeah, you know, yeah. All the smart shit. But you call me, and I'm just like, don't trust uh, it. Yeah, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> uh, but when the boyfriend comes out, boyfriend mm. comes out right before that. Yeah. And they start, like, making out. She's, like, popping pills, too, right there in the parking yes. lot. She's working at a bowling alley. Her son is her boyfriend. She's just popping pills. Yes, we find out what the pills are. Yeah. Uh, so. Ugh. So she goes into town. She goes into town. And uh, her so friends sad. are also. And the boyfriend also goes with her. Yes. And uh, we meet her friends. So there's the oh. twins who are Randy's uh, niece and nephew. Yeah. You were in the bathroom. Randy. No, I went to go get popcorn. I got really hungry because I might okay. have smoked a little bit in the parking lot before I went in, and I got really, really hungry at that point, and I needed pop like popcorn. You were getting popcorn, and you missed Randy's sister having a I cameo. Did. Played by that weird-looking girl. She was in Devil's Advocate. It wasn't the same girl, was it? Yeah, it was the same it was girl the same from Scream 3. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm so sad I missed her. She was awesome. That girl. Yeah. 
<laughs> I don't know her name. Well, sure, That's we'll all. go with that. I'm <laughs> really sad I missed that cameo. Um, yeah, yeah, I know, because I sat down just like, <gasps> there are... It's Randy's, Randy's niece yeah. and nephew. And so like, it's oh, those okay. two. There's Wes, the son of uh, Sheriff Hicks, and Liv. Liv is weird. Who I is wasn't one the, of the, the, the boy twins' girlfriend. Yeah. And she's being followed by a really cool guy with a muscle card what that says six that? pack on it. It's some guy she had a fling with who still wants to that be was with her. weird of into the storyline. I'm not going to, like... That was just like feels like it was randomly thrown in there, but like as soon as I saw him, I, I leaned over to Jess. I'm like, I hope that guy lives. He's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh you knew he was gonna die. As soon as you saw him, you're like, up, oh, he's gonna die. He seemed like a cool guy. Oh yeah, just an older just dude older with a muscle dude car. With the muscle car hitting on fucking high school kids. Yelp. That's a super cool kid. Seems, seems like a, cool a nice guy. Seems he like looked a, old too, yeah, like much really older. You're he like, should not be around. Oh there. no, you should be away from children in schools. <laughs> no. So, so yeah, that's happening. Uh, so they're talking. They're upset about Tara. Yeah, there's like a little family reunion between Tara and Sam. Uh, then we we find out Sam is. Billy Loomis's secret daughter he didn't know he had. I liked that twist. And yes, he does do the digital de-aging. And I guess whatever kind of psychosis him and his mom had, let's be real, yeah. uh, has passed oh, down yeah. to her. Uh, so I guess but he was into was... Latina chicks. Good for him. Uh, yeah, so she's like dealing with the guilt. And this, for me, I don't know when this went into production, but this is like making fun of Rise of Skywalker. You think so? I did. Okay. Yeah. Ray was the granddaughter of the fucking emperor. Yeah. No, and I now the that. new hero is thinking... the daughter of the original killer. Like, duh. Okay, fine. I guess I... if you say it like that, but I'm sure you can compare that to a whole bunch of things. Can't you? Well, yeah, there's also like how these reboot Quills. I mean, they they actually discuss it in the movie. Oh, everyone's yeah. got to be a part of the original. They're always now, like related this... to someone from the original because God yes. bad, there's new. Pe God forbid there's new people in these universes. Yeah. But and all the thing. new people are related or somehow associated with the people in the original. Yeah. Um, the that only was, one that that was one thing. A lot of people hate Last Jedi and this movie is kind of make a fun of Last Jedi here and there. Uh, and I don't like that movie. It could have been a lot better, but I don't hate it as much as other people do. And my whole thing was like, I liked that Ray in that movie was just no one. Yeah, I did. did. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, cool. Cause that's like what Star Wars was. And then they did this whole like, yeah. cause anyone cause could be not? a Jedi if they learn at the right age. And now it's just like, now nah, your dad has to be a Jedi. And then they ruined it in the next one. Mm. This comes into play with the twist, believe it or not. It does. Um, yeah. So I get that. But also, so you're also meeting a lot of the characters too. Like, before when they're at the high school and also in the waiting room where you, you can tell that and you can tell from the very there's something off with like Amber because also yeah. it was Amber's phone that kept going off yeah. uh, killing uh, while Tara's being attacked she was like texting her oh this isn't Tara and all of a sudden the killer on the phone says that they cloned her phone mm -hmm. uh, there was a video that came through too of her yeah like and you could tell like oh that Amber really hates Sam the sister yeah, and I thought this Sam, was going to go into like a, a possessive, like I'm obsessed with her as a best friend, almost yeah. like a. The whole a thing is like thing. Uh, Sam left for five years when she was 18. Yeah, and she's been gone for five years. Yeah, and uh, she's never heard from her. Yes, which gets revealed later. Yep, she gets attacked in the hospital. In the hospital, she she goes because she wants to find some food, and it's just her. Her face is pretty fucking ballsy in this movie I'm not gonna lie how the fuck did that even happen though like all this yeah oh you know how it happened they only well, left one deputy there and it's actor Chester oh yeah, Tam they, yeah yeah from Hot Rod <laughs> so he's up I, I forgot that they said they were gonna move no this is before they said they were gonna move her to a private floor yeah, it's before. So there's so should, there should be other fucking people around. How do you not hear people screaming yeah. and throwing things? But uh, what you call it? Sam gets out of that situation. She does. She starts screaming that the killer's in there, and then they go, and he's not there. And then yeah, and then she decides to talk to an expert. Yes. And they go to Dewey. Her and the boyfriend. They go to Dewey. Who's not doing well? 
Oh, he is he's in a trailer. He is this movie's Han Solo from The Force Awakens. Just God damn, are you gonna compare this entire movie to Star Wars? No, because not not Star Wars, probably other stuff too, but that's like <sighs> clearly the big one they're mocking. But he's basically they're mocking so many things. Not just that specifically. Oh, you know, he's <sighs> He's a lot of different characters. He's kind of like uh, Harris Ford. He's mixed with a little bit of Jamie Lee Curtis in the new movie. How she's like a recluse. The J- he, um, um, or like any kind bit. of old character they bring back. Like, aren't you whatever? Like, that's what it is. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I used to be in another life. Exactly. He, but we need you again. He's like Harrison Ford in Blade Runner 20 Norfest 9. That one. Great. How he's just Words. like the whole movie. You're like, well, this movie isn't as good as the original, but sad boys on Twitter think it is. And then it's like, hi, I'm Harrison Ford. I'm here at the end of the movie. It's like, cool. Why? You look sad. You probably shouldn't be in these movies anymore. So yeah, that's Dewey. Uh, he's upset. Dewey's he's really he's still sad. watching Gail's watching show. Gail. I was so sad not to see them together anymore. But yeah, still watching Gail is, has her own talk show. She's on Good Morning America. Yeah. She made it. She did. <laughs> she made it. That was her whole thing. Not looking good. I'm sorry. Courtney Cox is looking pretty rough. She went a little. She went a little too far in the cosmic. Yet yeah, that was, it, it had to be, yeah, the face. <laughs> that. What's going I on with Nicole Kidman, great. by the way? Nicole I... Kidman's nose is like. Really? I yeah. haven't seen it. No. Now I'm gonna have to Google what she looks like right now. A no. lot of there, yeah, a lot of too much cosmetic surgery is happening right now. I'm just yeah, like it was ah. a little rough. A little because rough. she looked great in four. I know that was 2011, but yeah. oh my god, the difference. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. they uh, call him and they're but like, even though uh, what's her face looks phenomenal, I know we're gonna get to that. Oh no, yeah, yeah. But yeah, they're like asking him. They're like, "What do what do we do?" And he's just like, "Your boyfriend's probably the killer." Because <laughs> she brought her boyfriend. Yeah, he's like, "Oh, how long do you know?" You yeah. find out she's only known him for six months. Yeah, and he's already said like, "I love you" to her, and yeah. he's already, "What the fuck? How I, do you? You've only known him, known him for six months, not yeah. even date." How the fuck did that happen? Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, so he, Sam, you're way too easy. Yeah, he kicks them out. He calls Sydney and he's like, do not come to Woodsboro, please, for the love of God. And she's like, all right. She's like, she has a kid. She has a kid. She, she also says kids, I think. Yeah, she has too. kids. Oh, uh, they girls. They never say who, she's the, who the, the daddy Wait, is. Wait, they said a name though, right? I didn't hear a name. So I was reading up on Scream 4. They wanted, um, what was his name from Scream 3? Which one? The detective? Yes, the guy who was on. Uh... Oh, what's his face? Yes. Yeah, yeah, the the detective in the end that went to go try to save. Yes, and he was on. Uh, what's that show? People, the, the 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 hospital show. He was McDream. Was he like? Yeah, McDreamy, McDreamy on that show. God damn it! Ah, God damn it! Day. Hold on! Hold on! Dream- Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy. God damn did, it. I've never watched any of those shows. I am not into those shows. I can't stand those shows. It probably because so, I know I'd get hooked into them. I, I was them. reading they wanted to bring him back for four to show that they stayed together, but he was filming Transformers 3 Dark of the Moon, uh, and he was not able to be back. So maybe he's the I father. I would have picked Scream 4 for that. <laughs> oh, my God. Well... He was like the main human bad guy in Transformers 3 Dark of the Moon, which did a way better. I would have picked that one, too. Not a good movie. Obviously, Scream 4 is better. But if we're talking payday, which one are you going to pick? Come on. Um, but yeah, yes. I don't know. I don't, that is interesting. I gotta, I'd gotta. i have to watch it again and see if they said his name and see if it's the same name as the guy from 3. Uh, also, I noticed in 4, she stopped wearing her dead boyfriend's uh, Greek letters necklace. No, I thought she w- did wear it. No, she st- she wore it in three. She didn't wear it for four. I thought she wore it in four. No. Well, she's definitely not wearing it now. She's not wearing it now. Poor O'Connell. Which O'Connell was it? Was that Jerry O'Connell? One of the O'Connells. Poor O'Connell. So O'Connell. Yeah. Uh, they that was end a up. Great death. Though. Do, do we go? Oh my god! That entire theater aspect of it. I was like, ha ha. <laughs> so Dewey goes with them to Randy's uh, niece and nephew's place. Yeah. Uh, and they have. Dewey the- decides to help. He yeah. didn't want to help. He like kicked them out. It was like, oh, hell no. You are the daughter of a fucking psychopath. Get the hell yeah. out of here. I like, and- I like the Randy Meeks Memorial Theater. <laughs> it's just the, like DVD collection and stuff. That was cool. Uh, that's where she tells them. Uh, has she told her sister yet? 
about does she t- does she tell her sister that Billy is their relative before or after the scene? She tell the friends first. She told her first. The sister. She's, okay. That was the, before she got attacked. Yeah. So like, the, that was the first thing when they got alone. And then the sister kicked her out of the hospital room because she was really upset. I, I thought the attack happened and then she, the reveal came afterwards. Oh, maybe it did. It did. All right. So she, uh, she basically she says, like, I looked up in the attic and I found oh, a, a diary. diary where mom says she slept with Billy, but then said it was dad's and dad heard me say that and he didn't know. And that's why dad left. And then that's why I left. And she's like, get the fuck out. Yep. So, yeah, they're having the meeting and they oh, discuss... Yeah, what movie that they're in, and yeah, it's like we're in. Also, the- do we also said, does she have a does uh, your sister have a tight niche of friends? It's like, yeah, yeah, you should look for your killer in there. Yeah, you also weren't there for the one of the funniest parts. I came in and people were laughing. I was like, Fuck. yeah. So Dewey, uh, I think to Wes or one of the guys, he was just like, yeah, you're. How do I know? Uh, he, they're they're accusing people of being the killers. Like, why would I be the killer? And they're like, well, Dewey, you're an alcoholic. Your wife left you. You've been stabbed a bunch of times. You probably went crazy. Then he goes, <laughs> he looks at the guy and he's like, well, you might be the killer because that cut deep. And he like gets really sad. I heard the line that cuts deep. And I was like, what the fuck was she saying? Yeah, yes. You can tell he's like angry. Then like sad. He's like, that cut really deep. Oh. So yeah, they discuss Dewey. the whole trend of, because re- like, that's the thing this now. Great. You can't do a straight up remake. People get annoyed with that. Mm-hmm. They were fine with it for a bit, and then they get annoyed. So you have to continue the story, as they say, even though the story- Don't kill the franchise. Yeah, even though the story's fucking dead and shouldn't continue, you gotta continue the franchise, which, by the way, Matrix Resurrections was about the- This is better than Matrix Resurrections. Okay. So Matrix Resurrections did all this, like, meta breakdown of bad reboots. Okay. But then it gave us boring action. And bad effects. No, this still delivers on the killing and gore and whatnot. Everything, if anything, it's enhanced and it's better, and it's yeah, the gore and the so even if the story is kind of stupid, like it's giving me like what you want. Whereas Matrix, like I want to see kung fu and shooting. It's like, well, that's the whole point of the Matrix. You're like, well, this uh, they decided it was all about the philosophy. All right, let's talk about the Matrix. We have a review of that. We have a review of that. I will watch it and then I will see your review. So they're talking about that uh, because yeah, people they get upset when you remake things. Yeah, and the daughter, the uh, I'm sorry, not the daughter, the female twin is the expert on it, which is amazing. Yeah, Andy's woke. Whoa, calm the hell down. Why? Because she makes out with the chick? Woke. <laughs> Fucking loved it. I wanted more of that. Scene. I walked out. She I said, stunning. woke. Yeah, this is when Tony walks out and yells at Woman the of color, lesbian, knows all the rules. Woke. I loved it. I, I loved didn't, it. I was I like, yes, girl. I didn't actually care. Like, I was, I, all like, when I, as soon as I saw that, I just thought of like all the fucking like YouTubers. Like, like it's woke. There are, there are men yeah. so afraid to watch anything new because something woke might be in it. And like, that's so stupid though. Just watch it. And then if you don't like it's it, like, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's probably going to suck, but like, it's not necessarily a deal breaker. Like, if a character. I think you're, if you're going in looking for woke shit, you're going to find woke shit because we're also living in a time where some of that's At the same time, there is a lot of fucking woke stuff out there. There's some where you feel that it's woke, and then some of it's just now part of the culture. Yeah. So it's determining, okay, is this for Woke! Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's it's really making fun of like how fans are these days. They're like, it is. It's they're like, I hilarious. want a new chapter, even though uh, it shouldn't exist. And yeah. I want it to continue the story, but I got to make sure the old people are there so I don't get sad. Yep. And they say that in it, and they're they say that they, too, Dewey. <laughs> they say it too, too. And then also with a why it wasn't five. Because there's no way. That, yeah, yeah, that was yeah. Strange. Okay, okay, yeah. So that's the thing. So we found out that Stab, uh, Stab Eight, apparently was trying to be elevated horror. Yes. Which Star Wars Episode Eight was trying oh to elevate? God. No, yeah. no, no. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So it was like that, and it was like trying to elevate stuff and be and for a so new generation. There's so much in the elevated conversation, and it's so yeah. hilarious. And they make fun of it. Yeah, you're they right. Make they make fun of it. Of it. They're like, so they called much. it Stab. We know it's Stab. It, like, that's like a joke, and like, that's why this movie's called yeah. Scream. That's funny. Yeah. Because Halloween did it. The new Texas Chainsaw's doing it. It's like, just... Yep. Shout out to Leprechaun the Return... Leprechaun <laughs> Returns or Leprechaun the Return? I think it's Leprechaun Returns. That is the reboot sequel to the first Leprechaun. That's the newest one that came out. Yeah. Where it ignores all the other ones, picks up from the first one, but they called it Leprechaun Returns. 
so you don't get don't confused. Say leprechaun, yeah, yeah. I I need a leprechaun marathon. I've I've marathon leprechaun a lot the last few years. I really like leprechaun. Anyway, uh, yeah. So that's that's the new thing. It's like it's gonna merge the old and the new. Is passing of the torch and yep. And they were saying <laughs> uh, people are upset that stab eight was bad and they want to wreck on. They were so upset. They were saying how horrible and how um, just how horribly upset the fans were about uh, the newer one. And yeah, how there's I someone there that's that. like, I really like uh, Elevated Heart. It's like, yeah, but that's not what the fans want it. <laughs> yep. And uh, look, I'm I'm a dirty fence sitter. Like, who's right? Like, are the fans right? Are the filmmakers right? It's like. I think everyone cares way too much. I do like a case by case basis. Like, hey, is this if you're going to continue this? Did you have like a good story to tell and you're not going to really be bogged down by everything else? Or do you just want to pander to fans? And it's like because we I don't think it came out yet, but we did the thing review. It's either. uh, No. Yeah, I guess it comes out after this. Yeah, and that I and I just keep thinking about what we talked about for the thing. We're going from like the the fifties, and then John Carpenter, and then the newer one. I'm just <clears> thinking about that. I'm just like, okay, definitely didn't yeah. like it. Yeah, then John Car or the newer one. But am I now that what would I have wanted as a fan? But they're appeasing the newer generation of it, and is yeah. that also making is this movie now making fun of that? Like, where yeah. is that line? It's How do like you the, appease modern audience? The whole point of this movie is like fans don't really know what they want. Fans have no idea what they want. They're going to complain no matter what. Except for the fans of this show, they know exactly what they're getting. They're getting great opinions that are right and shouldn't be disagreed with from me. Let's pause and look at the comments down there. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're, guys, we're in this together. Like, oh, <laughs> I'm suffering right here with you. And look, once in a while, these reboot prequels, sequels, whatever, they're Some fine. Some aren't the worst. I like 20, fine Halloween fun, 2018. Fun fine. Yeah, I like <laughs> Halloween 2018. That one was fine. And <sighs> What's another thing we're like, what's another old thing that came out? We did good reboots. Uh, we did do good reboots. Mad Max. It's continuing the story. Mad Ma- there, there are some good reboots. There really mm. are reboots, remakes, tr- like yeah. sequels. And I do love the fact that in uh, what was it in Scream Two, they talk about oh, what's a good sequel and what's a, what did they say? Yeah. What's a good trilogy? I don't know. If they said that one, but I forget. Yeah. Oh, I love that they make fun of all that. But anyway, yes. on the movie. Yes. So that's what that they've, scene that's, is fantastic. That's yeah. the scene where you are the iconic scene of let's discuss the movies, and then they go around saying who everyone is related to. Yeah. And they go to Wes and they're like, oh, but no one cares about the sequel. He's no like, my mom was the- a character. <laughs> yeah, my mom was a character. But no one cares about the characters in the fucking shitty sequel. <laughs> oh my God. That but really mean. after their entire little conversation, what happens then to poor Wes? And- Wes and his mother both get it. They get And a nice little fake out where like you think he's going to get killed in the shower and she's running back. I love the fact that they have a shower scene as mm. I think every single one of them has. The shower scene? I'm pretty sure every single one of them has a shower scene. I don't remember the first one having a shower scene. Did she she didn't get in the maybe it's just in the stab where she's in this stab, they she make it seem like she was in the shower. Uh, in the beginning she wasn't in the shower, right? No. No, okay. So Yeah, I still count as the first one in the shower. I, I don't um, know if they all have shower scenes. I can't even think of a shower stab, scene. Stab stab the first stab has a shower <laughs> scene, okay. Stab, which was in Scream 2. Yes. Okay. Which I think also had a shower scene. I don't know. There's anyway. a lot of shower scenes in horror films. Anyway. And this uh, is a nice guy. I mean, also going from, um, what is it? Nightmare on Elm Street right. 3. Where there's, you know, a guy. It was like the main male Scream Queen. How it turned into a guy and the guys in the sh- locker room right. and stuff like that. But no, 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 got- two, two. Oh, it is two, it's right. two, okay. How it's dare two. you? I interviewed yes. the director of that movie. I am so sorry, Tony. It's my favorite night Fr- Freddy Krueger movie. It is good. I couldn't remember which order. Numbers and orders. Yeah. So I like the fact that it's the guy in the shower scene. Yeah. And he, there is a lot of like close-ups and he does look really nice. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, I'm liking this. I got the girls hooking up on the couch. I got the guy in the shower. <sighs> the girls didn't hook up on the couch yet. But I got the guy in the shower, and I'm like, all right, all right. It should have been a girl. This movie's woke. (sighs) Whatever. But this was something new for one of these movies. Uh, It was. We've seen Ghostface dick around and run around the daytime in the first one. We haven't seen him, I guess, Randy. 
But he kind of hid that in a van. He did hide in the van. I'm sorry, she hid it in a van. Yes. Uh, but this is the first she time, like, Ghostface has literally murdered someone on their front porch in broad daylight. Oh, yeah. So the mom like, pretty fucking out. brutal. Like, yep. since uh, as Scream 4 started this, since they switched to the digital knives, like, Ghostface got a little bit, because they don't have to worry about it bending and hurting someone. The Ghostface has gotten a little bit more oh crazy my. with the stabbing since but they switched. It looked so many of the kills. Especially, yeah. there was, like, someone, like, right into the face. And yeah. The fucking. The, Wes got it, too. Oh, yeah. So then Wes, Wes gets killed hardcore. afterwards and is, like, throw. Oh, he yeah. He really should have kicked Ghostface. I don't know why he I did I think it. he could have survived that because I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Like that, no, he's not surviving that unless he gets immediate attention. But would he die automatically? Because he got slit right here. I mean, there is a lot of arteries right here. Yeah. No, he's dead. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, he's dead. Anyway. Uh, oh, that was a great kill. There was, But <laughs> the kills were done so nicely. Yes. Uh, then what's her face? Uh, the sister, Tara, gets attacked again in the hospital. Now this, this reminds me of like this Halloween part, too. This of like reminds Jamie me of Curtis Halloween. Trying to get away. That's exactly what this reminded me of. Yeah. And I'm like, how the fuck? Who is controlling the? This is when she. Well, the cop is killed, the but like, the where are the? Where like, is everyone else? And how the fuck did they all of a sudden turn off the power? Like, yeah, I've never the seen. Yeah, generators. I've never seen that empty of a hospital. Holy no, shit! No, <laughs> that hospital is like empty, empty. I'm like, damn, yeah. this must be like super small town, little tiny hospital. And Nothing. you think they'd be a little bit like this is? All right, in Woodsboro, this is the third time it's happened because two and three two was at the college three was in california yeah uh yeah yeah, yeah. but you would think though because they also celebrate this and they know it's a thing yes stabathon i yes! guess i um, amazing i think stabathon might have gotten canceled after 2011 they're like you know what Let's, no no you know they no, kept no, doing no 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 they kept doing stabathon <laughs> they kept doing stabathon they're like screw it let's do it yeah people so. are stupid uh, the killer attacks the boyfriend too, slits his arm, uh, much like Jerry O'Connell's arm was slit yep. in uh, two. Yep. But yeah, he calls her and he's just like, hey, uh, you got to choose. Should I kill your sister or your boyfriend? Let me know. Let me know. And I like, actually, this is the first time I can think of where Ghostface, without taking his mask off, is talking on the phone yeah. in camera. Yeah. And they show him like hit the little button of with the voice changer. They do. Yeah. God, that was Scream cool. 3 was so stupid with the, the changer that mimicked their voices. Oh, like that technology. I hated that. That technology is really hard to do now. It exists, but it did not that exist did it, back then. That did not. When I watched, I was like, you are. You're that would be the that most one. amazing bit of technology for to like. Change everyone's voices. To someone yeah. that they, yeah. they've heard like on, the, on TV or something. And again, the, I've, I've talked well. about that thing before. I, it's pretty advanced now, but this is going back years ago. Like they did it with Roger Ebert. They, um, cause you know, he couldn't talk yeah. at the end of his life. Uh, but there was so much recording of him over the decades that there was like this AI that can like make new sentences for him. That's cool. But like you have to feed that into it. And, and again, it didn't exist by the time screen three came out. No. Anyway, anyway, anyway. And it's wor like that. I don't know what's scarier, that or deep fake. Deep yeah. Fake, right? That stuff scares the shit out of me. Yeah, yeah. That's petrifying. Um, but yeah, this is the first time we see like Ghostface like talking that on the phone. Cool. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, so they're but on their yeah. way to the hospital because oh, because they all see the um, Sam sees all the police officers at the house, mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, who the fuck's at the hospital? So she's rushing over there with Dewey. Oh, oh also, got Gail. We, Gail comes. Gail shows up to the house. You find out that she went to New York with Dewey and Dewey couldn't handle it and left in the middle of the night. Dewey. What an idiot. He's so... And then they asked him to stop being sheriff because I guess he drank too much. Yeah, they they forced him into retirement. Yeah. Oh, poor Dewey. Poor you just feel for Dewey. Dewey. So yeah, then they get to the hospital. Uh, Dewey gets into a fight with Ghostface. Yeah. Shoots them, but they don't die. Does it feel like nighttime though in the hospital scene? Because like you see windows, but it feels like no. it's still dark. It's like getting dark, yeah. But yeah. Uh, like Dewey should know better. Dewey does. He goes. So Why do they fighting. never take the mask off? I know. I was like in Scream Two, and they have to climb over him. Take the mask off. I so thought you they can were even... going to take the mask off. Yeah. They're like, but she was about to. She turns back. She to went go... to go back. Like, take it off right away. That way, you know if he's sleeping or not, and you know who it is. <laughs> but, but yeah, like, there was plenty of time to take the mask off and didn't. 
Didn't, but he does go back so he can shoot him because yes. you always have to shoot them ahead. They always come back if you don't. Yes, and so he went over and our um, Harrison Ford Han Solo character gets oh, the Force Awakens death. He gets death. a brutal murder. And I think this, this one because they keep mentioning how many close calls he because he had so many close because he died in the original cut he of did, Scream. He still yeah. came back. And they keep bringing it back, but they have to make it serious. He's the most likely to go. Uh, yeah, they like fucking they bisect him out. almost. Yeah, yeah. He, you're like, oh, he's not coming. Killer's back. like, it's an honor. <laughs> yeah, he did say that. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, he's dead. Dewey's dead. Uh, Spoilers. He is not coming back. He's like dead, dead. Like he is on the ground, eyes open, dead, dead. I mean, like, but that was a lot of blood. I mean, Crystal, that was Crystal. Gory. I loved it. The Emperor was thrown into the reactor of the Death Star that blew up in space. They brought him back. Anyway. Uh, Dewey's not coming back. I'm sorry. Dewey's not. And I know Jess was very upset about this. She almost cried when Dewey died. What you're saying is, damn, he ain't going to be in Rush Hour 3. I wish this was alcohol. I think about that blooper from Rush Hour 2 all the time. I don't know why he ain't going to be in Rush Hour 3. Anyway. I'm glad um, make you happy. Gail is sad and Sydney comes because of course she does. Sydney arrives. Sydney, stay home. No. Stay home. <laughs> and she even says, no way I'm going there. No. Well, she does hear, I mean, she hears about Dewey's death. That's why she arrives. Yeah. And that does make sense. You, yeah. I couldn't think of any reason for her to actually appear so, except so, for Dewey's death. So this woman will go all the way to where a murder is trying to kill her to, to mourn the death of her friend. Yeah. But the main two girls' mom won't leave that conference in Europe to come home. That's a mom. And there's, no, there's yeah, nothing like in mom. Scream 1, it's like her dad's on business. And the whole thing was he was kidnapped. This one, it's just like, nope, yeah, their mom's, mom's at a conference in Europe. Like, oh, my daughter was stabbed multiple times? You would think you would, yeah, head right back. She's like, no. Ma. Well, I'm at this conference in Europe. Yeah. And I'm an alcoholic, maybe, they imply in the beginning. Oh, they said that she, uh, later in it, they said, yeah, you're, um... Your mom's like a huge slut or something like that. I don't oh, know yeah. why all of a sudden all the moms are sluts. That's a thing. Well, I guess it goes back to the first one too, where Maureen was sleeping around, who's apparently was also an actress, and well, uh, Maureen has quite a story. Well, no comment. No comment. Um, Whatever. I don't want to get canceled, but cancel him anyway. <laughs> cancel Tony. Yeah. So, so it inevitably. Oh. Okay. So Dewey is dead. Wait, wait Dewey's dead, but we got to talk. Okay. So the boyfriend character at one point uh, before this, he's watching people on YouTube bitching about Stabby. Yes. And so they keep showing this in the trailer, the metal scream mask with the flamethrower. Oh, yeah. And it turns out those are clips from Stabby. Where I, the killer I, in Stabby yes. has the metal mask. And then cut off sleeves, and it's he's using like ninja swords. That was great. And this there's some favorite. asshole reviewers on YouTube bitching about it. Could yep. you imagine it? <laughs> um, yeah, and they're like, just call it Stab Eight. Like, this is so stupid. And he's that like, That was fantastic. He's like, Yeah, you know what? They're right. This is like pretty fucking dumb. <laughs> but he, the boyfriend also says how he knows nothing about um, Stab. Stab. He's never seen any of it. Doesn't know anything about the town. Mm -hmm. So now all of a sudden he's like watching it on Netflix. Yeah, watching the reviews, watching everything about it. Yeah. But yeah, that was like now the, the last one, uh, Stab 8 is now completely anything goes, anything's going to happen. Yeah. And I thought that was really great. <sighs> so they uh, I'm saying like everything is fantastic. And great. I have to <laughs> they stop They get the this. sister out of there, but her inhaler is gone. Mm -hmm. So she's like, my friend Amber has an inhaler, an I, extra one. But they say as they're leaving, we're going to do the one thing that no one else in any of the other movies have ever fucking done. We're getting the fuck out of this town. And Sydney's and like, like, don't yes. do that. But Sydney's got a tracker on but, them. Well, yeah. That too. Yeah. Sydney is saying they're just going to follow you. They're just going to follow you. You got to face it. She's like, fuck no. I'm leaving the, yeah. the town. So at the party for Wes. <gasps> for Wes. They have that there. Uh, yeah. It so does they, say for Wes, meaning the character. But. Yeah. They go to the party. Wes. You know, the girl goes into the basement. The, the twin confronts her. And it's like, I'm the killer. I'm the killer. And like, good. We're both suspicious of each other. That's good for this situation. They're watching Stab. On the TV. Yep. And in the same house. That, yeah, that gets revealed at one point. So there's stuff happening. And then finally, uh, 
when uh, Sydney looks at it, she's like, oh, no. And I actually didn't see that coming. I did not see that I coming Because obviously it's been 25 years the house is remodeled. But yeah, once they pull it. It almost looks the same, though, too. At, After when you, at well, first once you don't you, realize it, but once they pull away and they reveal that, you're like, oh, shit, that does. Yeah, but like even the interior, like it was because like a the, little different. everything's like color differently and stuff. I'm like, oh, it's, my it's God, modernized. that is the house. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I, that was clever. That was that very was clever. clever. Very, very clever. Yes. So. Uh, so you find out Amber is living and they it is Stu's Amber's house. house in Stu's house. And at this point, twin brother stabbed. He stabbed. He gets really mad because he doesn't want to have sex with Liv. Yeah. And then uh, this. Or Liv gets really mad that she that he won't have sex because he's like, I don't know if you're the killer or not. I don't know if this is a great idea. So he's trying yeah. to be smart. And I love that she leaves. He's like, that's a good reaction to have. <laughs> But well, then he's stupid and actually goes out. Yeah. With her. If you're yeah. that scared to have sex with the girl because she might be the killer, I wouldn't exactly go outside yeah. at night. So the twin girl, I really like this scene. So she's watching an actor playing her uncle <sighs> yes. saying, turn around, turn around. It doesn't know the killer's behind her. And then she thinks like, there's probably someone behind me. And then, of course, the killer he's, attacks. Yeah. Uh, it's and like literally a reenactment within a reenactment. Yeah. They walk in, they think Sam cut, cut her. Everyone's all in the room. Liv comes back covered in blood. Boom, Amber's the killer. Oh, we didn't say how um, everyone got kicked out of the party, too. Oh, all yeah. The, side, the, yeah, oh, yeah okay. the, the boyfriend kicks everyone out of the party. The boyfriend kicks everyone else. He's like, oh, I'm saving hi, your life. Gen X. Uh, sorry, but I'm saving your life. Everyone out, saving your life, saving <laughs> your life, saving your life, saving your life. So Amber That's was the crazy. killer, and I was like, and don't worry. Turns out this was cl this ended up being clever, but I'm like, oh, that's a little on the nose. Uh, yeah, you you because uh, I thought she was an obvious red herring because yeah. she was a little too obvious. They do that a lot in the screen movies where you're like, okay, we're gonna set it up for this is the killer. Yeah, and I really thought they were gonna do a like I said an obsession because mm. you could tell like she doesn't like anyone. Yeah, and you see like she's off. Yeah, uh, so I thought that was pretty obvious. Yeah, I did like the. Her just shooting yeah. the other girls like I know you're not the killer. Bam. Yeah. That that was surprising, but then you're just like, all right. Well, yeah. now. We're but then I out. I love when Sydney and Gail show up, and it's a cut to the thing in the trailer. She's like, "Are you ready for this?" She's like, "This never." Yeah. You ready for this? Never. <laughs> uh, but I love that like the girl comes out screaming, and they just right away they're like, "Oh, I love." Yeah. They're like, "Yeah." What do you fake. think of this? Trap. Yep. <laughs> and she's like, ah, fine. She, Gail gets shot. Uh, yeah, so she, Sydney's walking around the house. And I love that she's like, this must be the most derivative one yet. It's the same fucking house. Are you yeah. kidding me? And I love that she's like, reminding me of Jamie Lee Curtis in the last uh, 2018 Halloween. Yeah. She's not fucking around. Like, literally, she sees the door. She shoots through the door before opening she it now. She through each one. Yeah. yeah. She's like, ah, I'm not taking any chance. She's like, nope. hey, if you're a killer or not, you better get the fuck out of here. She says, I don't care if you're a killer or not. Five seconds. Yeah. You got five seconds to reveal yourself. And she's shooting in each one. Yeah. And then she shoots in the <laughs> one. <laughs> she shoots the boyfriend, uh, Sam's boyfriend. And I love when Ghostface comes out behind her. He's like, oh, my God, it's Ghostface. <laughs> it sounded like he was, like, really excited. Oh, my God, it's Ghostface. Like, it was... <laughs> Uh, like starstruck and horrified at the by same the way, time. By the way, by the way, Amber, like she didn't look like she was that tall, and I feel like no. I feel like the killer was a little tall. Like that's a tiny girl, right? Even when she's in the thing with the mask off, she's like very tiny. And I'm she like, does have the shoes though, too. I guess she could be wearing like platforms. She does wearing platform shoes. Yeah, boots, platform boots. I got platform boots. But she's also very like, like I feel like I could punch her and she go through the like fucking she doesn't it. seem that strong and like going point back, is, if looking, she falls off a balcony i don't think she's getting up no i also don't think but she's a psychopath yeah. so she might have that psychopathic yeah, maybe but i also don't think like and this goes for jamie lee Curtis. i don't think nev campbell's getting up or falling off a balcony much like 60 she, something jamie lee Curtis has fallen off the house of that one i'm like you're not getting up no I mean, they've been stabbed, they've been shot, and they're still up moving. So yeah. at this point, I don't think that's a rule anymore. <laughs> so yeah, then it gets revealed. Sam comes in to help. Uh, her boyfriend's a killer. And again, I was like, oh, but that was also kind of predictable. Yeah, because they also say it. Yeah. Then you find out what, what this is. <laughs> and, and it's I pretty I loved great. it. And it does play back. So yeah, yeah so, so the it, killers are, yeah, the killers are revealed. Uh, the sister is actually upstairs too. She's all she's, tied she's up. She's tied up, yeah. And they tried, the boyfriend tried convincing Sam that her sister was the killer. Mm. So at some point you think that she is convinced. Yeah. 
Uh, there now, is so much. Yeah, it's it's revealed that the two are the killers, and you're like, damn. Like, well, here's their motive. It turns out the killers were all the people in the comment section of our Ghostbusters Afterlife <laughs> episode. Because they are just sad fans that just want, just want the same thing. They want thing us to they, die. Yeah, they just want to see the same <laughs> things. Just hand it like they just want like what they're used to. They, they are gonna come here and find us yeah. and will murder us. Because the whole point of it is the killers. They were so upset with the last stab movie that they, they want to remake. They even say, "I'm like, am I in fan fiction?" So they want to remake Stab Eight right this time. Yep. But because they're fans, they they t they bitch about Hollywood not having any ideas, and then they're just remaking the because, first movie because they're obsessed with it. Yep, they said nothing's better than the original. They lost all the creativity, so we're giving them yeah. material. Yeah, and it's it's so nice to see them though almost reenact. They have uh, the same crazy quality as Stu and Billy had yeah. in the beginning, and I'm like, this is this. It feels. It felt right yeah. in, the, in the movie. But though. it's funny because like if you ever read like fan fiction, it really is like, what would you do to make a sequel? And it'd be like, oh, well, uh, it'll be about Luke Skywalker's son. And also Luke Skywalker's the strongest Jedi. And he can do lightsaber moves and do backflips and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, mm -hmm. that's also bad. What Hollywood did was bad, but that's also bad. <laughs> but uh, I love how they found each other on Reddit. Yeah. And that... <laughs> Um, it wasn't hard to find. It's just like each one though didn't. Four, no, two. They found a yeah. Oh, two, a psycho hotline. There's a, a psycho, psycho, chat, psycho room. chat room. This one they found on Reddit. It's like nothing. No matter what, you can find like other crazy people. Yeah. And they said, uh, well, was the third that? one is the only the one where they work solo. Ro Roman works solo. He did. But you find out like, he's the one who like put the eye. Actually, I had a problem with that. that Cause they're like, uh, I started this cause I wrote that book about your mom. And she's like, no, Billy Loomis started it. It's like, well, I guess Roman was the one who encouraged Actually, his, yeah. you know, that secret brother you had, <laughs> which was so weird. You know what's funny about Scream 4? Uh, Maureen Prescott had a sister. And it's like, at no point did Sydney ever call her and be like, hey, was my mom like a Hollywood actress? What the fuck? Yeah, that, yeah. And she's like, oh yeah, I guess she left for a couple years. I guess no one knew though. I could I could play with that saying that. I guess so. No, she didn't tell anyone, just left and tried it, something new. Yeah, anyway. Um, but yeah, what's wrong with the fa with fandom? <laughs> no one in the fandom world has ever gone fucking crazy. It's funny, so the killers, and... yeah, for the killers, I'm just like, you know, I'm kind of on their side, like fuck Hollywood. But then the other time, like, yeah, but fans also, I don't know. Every Everyone's crazy. <laughs> Everyone is crazy. But I love that they had to like bring back the original people to make it count. And it's just like. It doesn't count unless the originals are in it. Yeah. Like that terrible Ghostbusters movie we saw. It only counts because remember, that's the good one. Don't it, they like, also mention Ghostbusters in it? Yeah. They mention Ghostbusters. They mention Ghostbusters. Remember that one respected the fans by just feeding them the stuff they've seen already. And I like how this movie kind of makes fun of that. Like, this is all you fans want. Ninety-five percent of the people, though, that I spoke to, <laughs> duh, like they love Afterlife. Not like at least ninety-five percent love it. Yeah, a lot of people like Force Awakens until like five months later. So we'll see. Um, yeah. So like again, I love this whole twist. I it, love that. Like, it, dude, Hollywood ruined my childhood. I'm gonna fix it. Billy Loomis's daughter. <laughs> yeah, super creepy. It's not like fans have ever gone fucking psychopo like psychopathic and try to change things and uh, gone, oh my God, people are crazy because this exists. That's the problem. Remember, they're already psychos. They just focus on something. Because it's also like, have, we like. Because there's people who are like, oh, the movies made them killers. It's like, no. No, uh, if a movie drives you to kill, you're probably fucked in the head in the first place. In, yeah, they say in the first one that it's not the movie. Literally, in the first movie, they say it's not the movies that make people killers. It just gives killers more creative <laughs> ways to kill. Yeah. They say that in the first one. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, and just like the first one, they fuck up. They do fuck up. And I love that. So Gail gets revenge on killing. So Amber's oh. the one that killed Dewey. <laughs> like, not only does she shoot her, but she shoots her and she falls onto like a the fucking stove. the stove and lights on fire. That is when I clapped. And I'm pretty sure a lot of other people clapped. I was like, yeah, like that was such yeah. a satisfying kill. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the boyfriend corners Sam and her ghost dad. <laughs> 
not Bill Cosby, her ghost dad. Uh, <laughs> now that would have been a twist if Bill Cosby showed up in this movie. <laughs> Uh, no, her ghost dad's like, get the nut. Because the whole thing is like, ghost Billy is convincing her to kill, but that's part of her psychosis or whatever. Yeah. What uh, is that? There's another... What movie where is that? That you keep seeing like the ghost of a person pop. Oh, Ginger Snaps. Ginger Snaps 2. Which is available on Patreon. Uh, it is. Johanna and Crystal did the review of it. It's available. Werewolf... The first Werewolf first Wednesday. First Werewolf Wednesday. And Tony's not in it. How great is I, that? I thought that was me being like nice. You guys get to do the show. And then I watched like the first minute and you guys are just <laughs> shitting just, on me. Yeah, no shit. I tried to be nice. No, you were just being lazy. You didn't. You forced us and locked us into a room. Talk about look werewolves. At those, look at all those werewolf movies there. Oh. The Howling. I do want to watch that. Uh, anyway. Do a review for The Howling. Yes. Uh. But yes, yeah. that, you keep oh. seeing the sister in the yeah. mirrors and sister appearing. And so, you see it with the killer. I like I like that they change something. Cause usually the killer like shoots the person at the end. I guess in four they defibrillate it, whatever. That was great, yeah. But it's like, remember, you gotta shoot him in the head. But like she just like I have a new rule. Don't fuck with the serial killer's daughter. And she just, just stabs him. Like, like the all head. the ang all the serial killer inside of her oh, she just like murders. She just straight up murders and stabs <laughs> like, and what stabs about and my that movie? was <laughs> What was it? What about my ending? No, what about my, um, what is it? No, he said, what about my ending? Or oh, yeah, what about she, my this ending? This is it. It just slits his throat. Yeah. Oh, it was so satisfying. But I love when uh, Amber comes back to life and then she gets shot because by. They're, yeah, because they're saying, make they hand her the gun. They yeah. hand Sam the gun saying, make sure you <laughs> shoot him. And she's like just going to town, also shooting him, making sure he's dead. Yeah. Amber flies out of nowhere, burnt up as <laughs> fuck. And, just, and who shoots her? Tara. Tara, and then says, I like the Babadook. <laughs> <laughs> and much like Scream 1, the twin brother was actually alive. Yeah. Because like, I think in that one, like Randy and Dewey, you think they're dead and they come back. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it the twins are ends alive. the Sam, Sam yeah, Sam and uh, Sydney have a little heart to heart. She's like, this is your life now, I guess. Mm -hmm. You probably have a secret brother out there, sorry. <laughs> And uh, it ends. Yeah, it does. I thought it was pretty good. I like I like that it's opening up this discussion. Like, do fans really know what they want? Do they know best? But also, does, does Hollywood fuck up too much? I think I think it's both. I also think it also shows the fact that a lot of fan bases can be a little psychotic or but also, go crazy. But also, Hollywood treats fans like shit once in a while. Oh, absolutely. Like Ghostbusters 2016, that was like. As soon as they that got a little bad. criticism, they like worked it in the movie. They they like had lines in there making fun of men and stuff. It's like, yeah, but that's your tar I think a lot of times Hollywood ignores their target demographic and like shits on them. I don't think Hollywood knows their demographic sometimes or their I know their appease. target demographic for a lot of this well, material. Like for the thing, it's they didn't as much as they want to honor John Carpenter for 2011. Well, don't wait, wait for that one. Uh, that episode's not out I, yet. It, I guess. I know. But it plays into my fact of who are they playing for? Are they playing for a modern audience or are they playing for the fans of the original? I, they try to do both. And, and you can't do both sometimes. And a lot though. of times they fall on their face. Not all the time. Not all the time. I like think I said, this Mad Max, movie, I think, was just another good Mad Max movie. It wasn't trying to reinvent the wheel. And I think that's a bad thing, too. It's like you try so hard to reinvent. Yeah. Or they well, try so Ma hard to keep it Ma Max to the original. Yeah, Mad Max Fury Road is like, hey, we're going to do the stuff you like in all the other Mad Max, but we're going to up the ante a little bit. And this is just another Mad Max has wandered into another adventure. And now he's gone. It's not like Mad Max, you're bad. <laughs> this is your daughter now, Maxine. Oh, my God. And she's going to be the real road. It's I like that when, shit. Yeah. Like, it's like no one, no one wants that. I think it's when they try to. I like I don't I don't know what I like until I watch it. And then I'm done and I have feelings. And I'm like, what are these feelings? Are they angry? Are they am I happy? Oh, I God. Like the doom. Oh, God. What? Doom Annihilation. The director of that, like he fucked up Royal because it's doom. The main character in Doom is literally called Doom Guy. Yeah. Everyone got mad at the other Doom because there wasn't really a Doom Guy in it. And then they did that awesome reboot game, which was really good. 
And then the new Doom movie, he was like, it's a lady. And then the actress is like, who needs a Doom guy? And it's like, you guys, was- before the trailer even came out, you guys have already murdered this movie. Yeah. He also made tweets saying, don't worry, Doom Slayer is in it. And then when I did my review a few years ago, I went back to look for those tweets and they were deleted because he <gasps> was fucking lying. So yes, Hollywood does shit like that, which it is annoying. Does. It's like, you, look, these are the people you want these fans to see your thing and you've already alienated them. Yeah, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't. And at the same time, sometimes they pander to fans too much and we get like a Force Awakens afterlife where it's like, well, now I just feel like I'm but just watching this scene. they're not pandering to the fans then because, well, you're pandering to a different group of fans. I don't think you'll ever, because mm. there's different generations and yeah. different generations like different things. I don't think you can ever truly... Truly oh. appease. I think it's really, really, really difficult to appease an audience of all ages, of all generations. Mm. It's hard. It's not an no. easy thing to do. It's not one. It's not easy to make a movie at all. It's fucking a hard, hard, hard to do. I heard it was pretty easy. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, OK. You knock out a movie in a week. You got a movie in a week? Yeah. Oh. I mean, How I. How you do it? How you I do it? Yeah. I pumped out. Uh, it's not over there. Uh-huh. I pumped out. Uh, Hack the Living Dead pretty quick. Oh yeah, you yeah. totally reinvented that one. Yeah. So much originality in that. I had some help. I had some help oh, with okay. that one, to be okay. honest. You but, might um, have had a little bit of help there. <laughs> yeah. But it is difficult, and it is. I do give credit to people that are trying to make new things. Yeah. They're trying to reinvent the wheel, or they're trying to appease the audience. It's when. There's, there's clearly a different motive of trying so hard to be woke mm-hmm. or you're trying to just appease a specific audience. Yeah. There are literally like writers <laughs> and stuff that go out of their way to change something just to get into arguments online. It's that like, I can don't you just, like. Can you just, like, the comics industry is dealing with that hard yeah. now. Like, yeah, yeah. DC and Marvel are like, like, like take the political... Uh, p- so like the, the the comics companies are way too political on one side and then they yeah. piss off the people who are political on the other side and then they just yell at each other. And then the people in the middle like us are just like, I'm like, well, that Maybe. just looks like a bad comic, but I don't care as much as you guys. I'm going to do something else. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, yes, that looks very, that movie looks very bad, but I have better things to do than scream about it. Mm-hmm. For example, I only did that one video in Afterlife, but you guys keep yelling at me and I keep bringing it up. <laughs> But I would like to move on. What do you guys want? Hey, guys. <laughs> I, Tony from Hack the Movies. Very famous Tony from Hack the Movies. Very famous from Hack, Tony from Hack the Movies. Yes. Uh, I apologize. I love Ghostbusters Afterlife. It's a very good movie, and it respects the fans, and it was good passing of the torch. By the way... When Amber gets lit on fire and Courtney Cox is like, there's your passing of the yeah. torch. I'm like, oh, God, I love it. That was amazing. I want to see a, a reboot sequel that isn't a passing of the torch. It's a newer character just yanking the torch out of a previous character's hand. Just like fucking like. See, I love the movies that make fun of them. Like, I love Evil Dead. I love mm. these screams. I think those great because it is a very comedic no. way of like showing society, putting a mirror up to society. I love Ash vs. Evil Dead. That was a good. That was a good. Was uh, requel legacy thing. Yep. That, that, that that is my app. That did a good job Ash of establishing new characters and new characters and, still and the old ones. The old still has the same tone. It can be done. It can be and done. It well. can be done. And like I said, with this scream, it has a little bit of a different tone. It doesn't have a straight, more com- comedic tone. It has. I think it actually has a little bit more of a serious undertone than the first one. Because no. it does play a little bit more into the emotions of these characters that you do fall in love with, yeah. like Dewey and Gale. And it does play into that. But they still, I think they still seceded so well with yeah. it. I, I, it did everything it needed to do. It did. I really hope they don't have another it, it, one. It hit, it hit everything. Well, I, I think, they, I think uh, they have to wait until horror and films evolve again. I can go with that. Because... Scream 4 came out during all the re- after the reboot torture porn stuff and yeah. that's what that did uh, yeah, and then, it, it talks about it too like and, oh that yeah. they love the Saw movies and then this one and found footage that's what that last one covered and this one is making fun of the legacy sequels reboot whatever so maybe in another 10 years we'll see another Scream you think yeah maybe 5-10 years we'll see what the landscape's like the TV show season 1 covered 
how to when like horror movies become TV shows and get changed. Uh, yeah, we have to see where horror is in a few I'm years. I'm kind of nervous, but a lot of times history tends to repeat itself. And, I mean, look at mm. fashion. I'm curious if horror is going to go back into that. It usually is. I like horror right now, actually. There's a lot of good indie horror. There is a lot of good. I love, like, I'm looking at Shudder right now. You know what's really good? What's mm. really good about horror? Uh, like big horror movies. Uh, they probably won't play in China, so they don't have to pander to China <laughs> and they can be a little bit more creative without having to worry about yeah I don't I do love what they're talking about is like the Babadooks and the good I swear, train to Pasane is one of no. my favorite horror films just because it does it does have the ability to play on emotions yes yeah. I've I think, never uh, cried in a horror movie except Train to Pasane. I remember and one um, Cut of the Dead, and thank you, like yeah, Joe Bob fucking showing me this goddamn amazing horror films that I've never seen before. But there's so many paths horror can take where there's so many different sub genres, mm -hmm. and you know what you're getting yourself into half the time. So you can choose what is more of your style. I actually love all the different styles because, like I said, yeah. you go into the Evil Dead and the fun ones. Yeah. But then you I wasn't into super more into serious. torture porn. That's the I, one genre. I, that's I would go with that. I'm not a big Saw hostile fan. I just it's not for me. It's interesting, but I don't mm, need I to see the billion different ways. People can die. Like I'm just not. Yeah, know, I just get kind of tired get of it. It's like, all right, it. yeah. Some people love it, and like if that's your thing, then that's your thing. However, the later Saw movies do get fucking ridiculous and fun to watch in a different way. But yeah, torture porn never really did it for me. Um, I love Trick or Treat. That was kind of yeah. Those are good. Trick or Treat. Good. Um, the new, the other one. Uh, he just did. We just talked about. Holy shit. So many films. I've never watched so many films in my life until I started doing this show. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll tell you this. It. This is a better reboot cool than the new Candyman. I didn't see the new one. The new yet. Candyman was kind of hit or miss. There's some good stuff in it. I haven't seen it. I got nervous. The main character is, I still is the see. baby I from the first one. I heard. But he's he should be younger than my sister, but he's like four years older than my sister, I think. I have to watch and I said, it. And I and said, and I said, I said, no. You said no? I said, he's not the right age. Oh. Actually, he might be older than me, now that I think about it. Yeah. I said, no, he's not the right age. And then they made him Morpheus in Matrix Resurrections. And I went, no. Um, yeah. So, Scream 5. <laughs> Definitely see it. Scream. Yes. That's or five. or Scream. just see anything else. I don't care. You can wait till video. I think it's fantastic. I say definitely go out. Definitely no, I really, if, if you like. Even though we just said the entire movie and totally <laughs> did the spoiler. So yeah. if you haven't seen it yet, you want to see it, but we just spoiled it for you. Sorry. Yeah, if you like Scream, you're going to want to go out and see this. Yeah, if you're a Scream fan, then you're definitely going. I think If maybe you're not into the Scream sequels, wait. I think you have to understand what Scream is. You can't go into this never seeing a Scream movie and understanding that this makes fun of it. I don't. No. I don't know if I would enjoy it going in thinking I was going to see a horror movie mm -hmm. and seeing it kind of making fun of itself. Yeah. I think you have to have, I think you do need to at least see the first one before you yeah. can see. And if you're someone one. on Reddit who bitches about movies and you really liked Ghostbusters Afterlife, don't see this because the movies make fun of you. <laughs> also, if you have blue hair and you're on Twitter and you're trying to ruin a comic book character, don't see this movie because it's oh making fun of you. Goodness. It's made fun of both of them. <laughs> it makes fun of everyone, just like South Park. It made fun of us because it cut it the does. two it cut the two assholes on YouTube what? bitching about movies. You're the asshole. I like getting made fun of though. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> I mean, that's what happens. We're we're putting ourselves online. Like, what do you expect? <sighs> well, I, I expect it like like Fame and, and oh, got you. Yeah, I'm sorry. How did that work? I out get for a you? little bit of that. I do get a little bit of that. Oh, not that's enough. right because you're famous Tony from Hack the yeah. Movie. I don't get enough of it. No, but Subscribe you get all your fame that. from uh, The Dark Knight. Yes, I know. Dark Knight Rises. Dark Knight Rises. Rises. <sighs> that new Batman looks pretty good. Mm. We saw the trailer for it, and I said, "Guys, that might be the second best Batman movie." Oh, I wasn't in the room for that. That's actually when I was paying. No, it was Thorin. No, you were there. I was not in there when the Matt Man. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. No, I wasn't. I was not there. Anyway. Jess, was I there? I wasn't there at during that part. Uh, Jess, Jess will tell you. Jess, she was whatever the, sitting there. Whatever the truth is, just do my version. Okay. But speaking of Jess, Jess, can you do me a favor? And can you 
replay the clip from the first Scream review that we did. God damn it. Where we made a bet. We made a bet uh, saying if Tony swore Stu was going to be in this one. Or Matthew Lillard was going to be in the movie somehow, even if it was a cameo. I really thought they were building up to it. Matthew Lillard will be in Scream 5. And if I'm wrong, I'm gonna be I'll... Ooh, what are you gonna do if you're wrong? Take us out to a nice dinner. I'll take you guys out to a nice dinner, <gasps> but that's not gonna happen because I'm gonna be right. So like, Jonathan? especially when it was Stu's house, I'm like, oh, they're gonna be Stu's niece and nephew or something. You really thought, no, no. Who did we see instead? Billy Loomis. Well, he's but, not there. He's but a he's still in the. I would still give it to you if we saw Matthew Lillard even in the background. We don't even see him in a photo or. No, anything. no, no, no. I still would have lost because my prediction was he was going to be the killer because it's. Oh be yeah, like you the, did say he was going to be the, the killer. original killer. Came you back. You didn't even see him at all, at yeah. all. And what was that bet? If if you were wrong, you were going to take Johanna and I. Well, she's dead. And Jess, I'm going to add you in. What the. Fuck? Great. Now that Johanna's dead, I'll bring Johanna's ghost and Jess. Three and dinners? Three dinners at Olive Garden because that's fancy to us. That's <laughs> racist to me. What's a nice dinner? Want to go to Outback? I'm down. They got like. I love the, Outback. Yeah. Steakhouse. They got some good bread. That's pasta Olive face. Garden. That's pasta face. <laughs> So anyway, bread sticks. yes, my prediction about Stu is wrong. You're wrong. Tony was wrong. I bet you they wrong. thought about it. You know wrong. what? You know what it was? You know uh, what it was? They heard you say this. No, I think they had to steal. They could only steal one thing from Rise of Skywalker. They're like, we either do girl is related to main bad guy or bring main bad guy back. It's like, I don't uh, think this was specifically making fun of Star Wars. This was making fun no, of- No, a lot of it, a lot of it was making fun Star Wars was definitely the big one that they were making fun of. Uh, yes, yes, that you is- You owe us Olive Garden. <sighs> so that's it from us. That's fine. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to tweet Johanna and say, sorry, you died. Uh, I miss you. Also, please speak in a- fans, crazy fans, writing fan yeah. fiction. Stop saying I'm dating everyone on the show. I will never date a woman who's him. on the show. We don't want him. Because they're just, they're, they're awful and they have not forgiven their fathers. They need to forgive their fathers. We will never do that. Yeah. You will more likely die by our hands than us forgiving our fathers. I don't want to live in that world where your father is unforgiven. <laughs> anyway, uh, that is it from us. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, go on Patreon. Watch Werewolf Wednesdays. Yes. And uh, we, by the time this comes out, that Werewolf Wednesday came out last week. And also last week, I don't know what I'm putting up this week, but last week we did, uh, we finally put the footage, and Jessica's in it, and Johanna, of the Friday the 13th uh, tour, location <gasps> tour. I'm so sad I couldn't make that. Can we go again? Sure. I got, yes! a I got a funny story to tell you about <gasps> off camera about that. I forget if we told you. Anyway, that is it from us. Bye, guys. Goodbye. I have so many things I want to talk about. I'm like going to get off track here. This is the case of a game that was far more popular in Japan than it was in the United States. They never <laughs> went to Mordor. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is kind of weird. <laughs> But there's real detail. There's like wiring underneath. You know, they're, they're one and done. That's yeah. it. It's sold yeah. out. So they're super hard to come by. <laughs> <laughs> you heard him, guys. Bring it back. Here oh, we go no, again. No, Round no, two. No. <laughs> <laughs>